It was 25 years ago on June 29th, 1999, when a nine-piece outfit of masked marauding metalheads exploded out of Des Moines, Iowa with their debut studio album. That album and band would go on to redefine heavy metal and hard rock as we know it. That group, of course, was Slipknot, formed in 1995 by Sean Clown Crane, Joey Jordison, and Paul Gray. The band went through various lineups, self-releasing their demo, Mate, Feed, Kill, Repeat, which featured tracks that were released on Slipknot and Iowa. How did a collection of malcontent misfits from Midwest America help bring extreme metal from the underground all the way to the mainstream and Grammy award ceremonies? I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is The Rhino Report. Slipknot Slipknot album took the world of hard rock and heavy metal by complete surprise upon its release back in 1999. Let's dig into it with three big things about Slipknot's earth-shaking debut. Number one, Slipknot's iconic look was dreamed up on band member Clown's back porch. Slipknot's distinctive look of uniform coveralls with barcodes and masks originated during a band brainstorming session on Clown's back porch. It was during this meeting that the group decided to go by numbers instead of names. Singer Corey Taylor chose his number, eight, because it was his lucky number and a deep-rooted obsession with the number due to OCD. Number two, Slipknot's very first single earned the band its very first Grammy nomination. The first single spun off from the Slipknot album was Wait and Bleed. The heavier than heavy two and a half minute track with a surprisingly melodic chorus resulted in the band's first Grammy nomination as it was up for best metal performance at the 2001 awards ceremony. Deftone song Elite ended up taking the trophy. Number three, Slipknot's debut went platinum in less than a year. Following the album's release in June 1999, Slipknot was certified platinum in May of 2000, making Roadrunner history as the first platinum record on the label. American SoundScan ranked the LP as the fastest selling metal debut in SoundScan's history. Slipknot's debut has been streamed more than 1.8 billion times and is the highest selling extreme metal album of all time. That album also launched Slipknot to the top of the metal mountain with the group going on to release six more LPs over the years since that 1999 debut. To date, Slipknot has amassed 16 billion streams, 5 billion YouTube views, and over 30 million albums sold worldwide. So let's celebrate the occasion with another spin of Slipknot's iconic studio debut, Slipknot. Rock on! What's your favorite album from Metal Master Slipknot? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Rhino channel for more music news.